castle on a cloud. Cosette was right. The Kingdom of Plastics, where Walter Brook reigns. Not a journey in science or a voyage in science, just running out real quick to grab some science. This music's promising a lot of wonder and spectacle. Make way for King Shopping Bag! Is this a production of Clue Jr.? Detective Pipsqueak. I know how we'll play. Why? Let's play a guessing game. Oh, that'll be swell. I guess. Well, in this game, you gotta have a blindfold. Well, I know. Mom and Dad have lots of those. Daddy, can I have your hand? Oh, I wouldn't touch that, honey. Why, sure. You tie around my head, too, will you? I'll bet I can guess what you're getting ready to do. Oh, I bet you can. Yeah, you just give me one guess. Is it Lady Justice cosplay? You're getting ready to play Blind Man's Bluff. That's not it. This is a guessing well, game. Don't ever correct me, child. You're going to be the one that does the guessing, huh? That's right. Okay. There you are. Thank you. Look out for the snake pit, honey. There we go. Yeah, let me guess. The eyeballs are grapes. Are you real sure you can't see anything? Of course not, silly. All right, now start guessing. Heavy, heavy hangs over thy head. That got creepy oh, fast. Yes. Does it belong to the animal kingdom? No. <laughs> Is it a wad of lint? The vegetable kingdom? No. Nope. The fraggle kingdom? Yeah, it's just got to belong to the mineral kingdom. Uh, pass. Don't at me, bro. Uh-uh. It's not a mineral either. But it just has to be one of them. There is. There are only three kingdoms. Animal, vegetable, and mineral. Let me see. Oh, it's a blindfold. Oh, a thimble. Thimbles were like iPhones back then. Boy, Arthur Simpson, that is too a mineral. Well, it ain't iron or tin or, or, or anything like that. Isn't it? Not ain't. Kingdom of pedantry. Too a mineral. Daddy, doesn't it belong to the mineral kingdom? Uh... My daddy knows. He's an engineer. Well, now let's see. Let me just eat it. Animal, vegetable, and mineral. I hadn't thought of that before. Let's see what I can pull out of my butt. Maybe this little thimble belongs to a kingdom all of its own. The fourth kingdom. The kingdom of plastics. Beverly Hills? Plastics. plastics are not new materials. They're as old as grandfather's handlebar mustache. That's not helpful. Remember the high celluloid collars he used to wear? Well, they were plastic. The beauty of them being that they never had to be sent to the laundry. Gross. But even though celluloid could be cleaned with a moist handkerchief, Granddad soon found out that it was a pain in the neck. Literally. <laughs> and dangerous. R.I.P. Grandfather. Tolkien. Many modern plastics, however, are fire resistant. One of the numerous improvements science has made in plastic articles. We don't have to be careful anymore. Plastics come from many different raw materials. Some of the materials are natural elements, like water and air. And farts and rainbows. Some are growing things, like corn and potatoes. But most of it is a mysterious substance that was scraped Others off a space minerals, capsule. such as oil, coal, and limestone. From these various raw materials, chemists derive many different chemicals, which, when combined properly, will form plastic. It's just that easy. Call today. Now, suppose you could look inside one of these chemicals. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a bother. You would find that, like everything else, it is made up of billions of tiny particles called molecules. Hey, that's just a theory. Molecules are so small that even with the help of the most powerful microscope, we cannot see them. Hmm, convenient. But let's suppose they looked like combinations of those building blocks with which every child is so familiar. I think the narrator's an alien. By joining blocks together in different combinations, we have different kinds of molecules. Each combination forming a pattern which is characteristic of a different material. So it's like Legos? Water, for example, has one pattern. Salt another, and so on. When scientists start to make a plastic, they select those chemicals that have the patterns they need and mix them. In a tumbler with ice. Now, when two different molecules come together in the right way, a very interesting thing happens. Stop motion animation. Some pieces are attracted to others more than to the ones to which they're attached. So they separate, join the ones that attract hmm. them, and move off to follow their own devices. 
Those that are left get together too. Oh, sloppy seconds. This may keep on until there are a whole lot of them linked together like a chain. Then they become patio decor from Pier 1. Millions of these chains are formed in the chemical mixture. And because the molecules are different from the ones with which the plastic chemist started, a new material is born. Gak! It was indeed lucky for us that the men of plastics had labored so long and well. Thank you. For suddenly we found ourselves at war. Oh God, this took a turn. <laughs> Faced with a critical metal shortage and unprecedented production demands. We all die. Armament manufacturers immediately turned to plastics for assistance. And the kingdom of plastics responded with remarkable speed and ingenuity. You don't want to piss off plastics. Pressed in new molds, plastics took on countless new shapes and sizes providing a wide variety of essential parts for every type of military equipment. Daddy, I don't like your explanation on anymore. On a 5-millimeter gun, there are a number of plastic parts. Dozens are used in a modern tank. Okay. Several hundred to fly in some of our fighting eagles. Thousands of plastic pieces of equipment to sail in each ship of the line. Kill them all, I say. Equipment ranging from mortar fuses to ship telephones. From antenna housings to switch gear. No plastic helmets? Produced with greater speed and economy, but bringing new strength and efficiency to almost every allied weapon. Sorry, kids, what was the question? But out of the flames of battle, the promise of a new day. Plastics take their rightful place in a world at peace. Ah. A world dedicated to a richer, fuller life for all. A life of unquestioning consumption. Yes, this is a dream of the future. Yet out of such dreams has come all that we call progress. So in the years ahead, dreams like this and many more will become realities. I mean, that could happen, or alternately, we could choke the planet to death with mountains of non-degradable refuse. We'll just have to ride it out and see. Goodbye, kids! Thank you for watching. Fun with Shorts is made possible by Patreon and viewers like these. For as little as a dollar per video, you can see early and exclusive shorts. Also, please check out the newly updated funwithshorts.com for the latest video downloads, DVDs, and, at long last, merch! Okay, that's the end. Bye!